welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another unboxing video, but this video is an unboxing of one of my holy grails. I did not mention this figure in my first Dust and Discuss where I talked about the holy grails that I want uh, to get because I already kind of had this for a while now and I've been waiting to unbox it on camera but haven't had the time. And it is the Noragami, it's wrapped in saran wrap, but <laughs> it is the Noragami Yato figure. I am so excited for this. Um, I did mention in my Holy Grail Dustin Discuss video that I wanted Hiyori. So I haven't gotten her yet. I'm still looking for her, but I have Yato and I'm so excited. So here we go. I'm gonna change angles, change views so you can get a better look at him. And if you like this video, please like the video and subscribe for um, more content like this. So here we go. Okay, so I hope this angle is okay, but I added a little tablecloth to make the background a little more appealing. I hope that works. <laughs> and yeah, now I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox this, so. I am so excited. So this is the front of the box. I'll show you all sides. This just says Noragami on it, right over here. Um, it's from Mega House. And then he has his name over here in both kanji and English. You got a side view of him. And then uh, the back of the box right over here. I mean, it's a basic box, you know, nothing like too appealing, but um, the figure itself is much more exciting. and. Uh, he, I think this is the first scale that I have where I have to actually uh, like have parts with him. I think all the other scales that I bought just come in one piece. Except for I think my Show by Rock scale uh, that comes with her guitar and her pick. I'm like so nervous to deal with this figure. Okay, uh, uh, on the inside of the box, oh god, you can't really see. Uh, it just says Noragami right over there on the back. So here we have Yato. He is so cute. I will switch up the angles so you guys can see him better in a second. I'm just gonna take all the parts out first. Okay, so he has two different arms. So this one's removable. So this is one pose where he can hold his sword or um, yukine or seki, whatever you wanna call him. Um, this is the base, just a clear, really lightweight base. It's okay. It's cute. It's not ugly. It has Yato's name and then it has Noragami on there as well that it says. And then this is his other arm where instead of holding Seki, I think, uh, he can hold, or maybe he can hold both, uh, he can hold his bottle of yen, which I absolutely love. Uh, I've seen photos on my figure collection of people uh, having him hold that and kind of putting yet real five yen coins all over his base, kind of like a shrine sort of thing. I think that's adorable. His uh, scarf is removable. And then this, I this I believe, it is the stand for his base, which is the shortest stand that I have for a figure, which is weird. And it is also metal, so just like my Chitoge one. So now I have two scales that have metal stamp. Okay, so there's another level to this. These are packaged really good. There's like another... We have a really, really 
fragile and like bendable sword. We've got we've got three of them, which I don't really know why. They're different sizes, so I guess depending on what fits on your shelf. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch angles and kind of put him together so you can see both poses and I'll be right back. Okay, so here he is. He is super adorable. This is the first pose where I have him holding uh, two swords. Kind of like that. I think it's neat because at least this sword, even though it's, you know, really fragile, this band going around his sword that's wrapping around it is meant to wrap around Yato as well. So uh, it kind of goes from here, wraps around the back and then over his arm. And I love that so much. It just gives it more movement. Uh, I think it's so cute and I love the pose. It's not just a standard kind of standing up pose and most of my figures are standing up. This one, this pose, and I think the pose that I have uh, Chitoge's scale figure in are really different from a lot of uh, the scale figures, other scale figures that I own. So I really love this. I think the pose even suits him so much. He's just adorable. His scarf is loose, even though you have it on, but it's removable. And then stay till the end of the video. I will pan up and down so you can see an even better look about of him. So I'm gonna go ahead. I am not gonna use this sword. I think this is just extra or it's it's an even longer sword, but you get the idea with the swords. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him in his other pose with his other arm uh, holding his uh, bottle of 5 yen. Okay, so this is him holding his bottle of 5 yen. You guys, this figure is so easy to assemble, but not easy enough where you think that everything is loose and you feel it like coming off and falling apart, uh, kind of like some Nendroids are. It is such a great figure. I absolutely, this is the only Yapto figure there is. The Noragami figures that you see on my figure collection are the only Noragami figures there are out there. For a first and only figure, I absolutely love it. I think Mega House did such a great job with this figure, especially with the face. He looks exactly like he does on the show or very, very close. I'm, I'm so happy. I just need to get Hiyori. His tracksuit even has his little uh, crown right over there. Again, I will just stay till the end and I will um, kind of pan up and down in different directions. But here we go. His hair is absolutely perfect and amazing and I I, I just love him. I love the folds going on on his tracksuit, uh, even the detail in the shoes with the folds and just the colors. Yato is one of my favorite anime characters of all time and I really feel like Noragami is completely underrated and deserves so much attention, especially this boy right here. I do really quick before I do a pan up and down and end the video, want to show you the detail in the five bottle yen because I feel like it deserves some praise. Okay, so hopefully you can see that well enough, but look at these little individual sculpted coins. I think that is so neat and it's so great how much attention they pay to detail. This is so neat and just getting in that many coins. I'm like obsessing over a bottle of 5 yen coins, but these are the things that make this figure so great and make figures in general great is this subtle attention to detail and I absolutely love it. Even his hair, I love this little piece of hair or these two pieces of hair that are sticking out. They are so cute. They make his hair, you know, just more alive. His eyes, <laughs> I fell in love with him, dude. He is so cute, I am, I cannot express how happy I am. Also, just pointing out, um, I guess I can show it on this one. All his swords, the wrap that goes around it, the little band-aid, is really textured. I absolutely love that. It's like this rough texture, and it makes it look like it's been used and it's gone through um, everything you can imagine it, it goes through and 
I think that's another thing that makes it so special. And each bandage on each sword is positioned differently, so it's, it wraps around differently, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I think this figure is neat. I am so thankful I have it. And hopefully, if you are looking for this figure, you find it too, and you enjoy it just as much as I do. I'm going to go ahead and pan up and down, uh, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.